hello everybody welcome to the channel in this video i'm going to talk to you the difference between regular pocket scale and precision uh, lap scale okay in my previous video i talked to you about four different scales and why they are important for cosmetic formulation uh, i told you that the major importance of using an accurate precision scale is that you are able to weigh smaller amounts and you are able to get accurate reading and that is going to contribute to the stability of your uh, products so now um, i want to, today i want to show you just the difference between them and why you should go for a precision lap scale so now i have these two scales set i want to test them okay so we're going to measure the same amount i'm going to get uh, let me get same amount of water then we're going to measure both of them or oh, let's do it this way to make our job easier let's not measure water i'm going to measure this bottle okay on both scale so let's see what we get let's see what we get for both scale okay so this is a regular scale okay and this is a precision lap scale and let's see what we get for both so here's the regular scale we got 48.6 gram let's come to the precision scale we got 48.7 gram even that tiny amount of difference means a lot if you are into cosmetic formulation you know how this little bit amount uh, make a huge amount of difference especially when you're formulating and another difference between both of them is the is the uh, amount of stuff they can you can measure on them okay so you ask me oh this is not that much different but when you are making product in the lab you don't want to short change yourself especially when you're making emotion it's going to really destabilize your emotion even though this doesn't say that much right as you can see it doesn't say that much let's get another thing um let's get another product to measure on both so regular scale is telling me 231.2 let's go to precision scale 231.1 so as you can see the difference you can see it consistently both of them have a difference of 0.1 that is huge in cosmetic formulation trust me if you are making 3000 gram of product that is huge amount of difference so for long stamp stability i always recommend that you go for a precision scale and a good precision scale to start with is ohio scout scout uh, grade of uh, Ohio scale are one of the best. They are not only are they affordable, they are very, very reliable and highly accurate. Watch my previous video, which I'm going to link in the description box below for my previous scale. Now, so that's the difference between a regular pocket scale, okay, and a lap scale. The difference is accuracy. When you're, when you're talking about precision, you're talking about accuracy so the difference between these two is uh, we can see it's point 0.1 and it's consistent across okay let's let's measure another thing i have this bottle here 359.1 now let's come to the precision 359.1 let's come to the precision scale now you can see the difference this gave us 359.1 and this gave us what? 358.9. You can see how, how it is. So please, please get yourself a precision scale. Uh, precision scale is going to give you um, peace of mind when it comes to cosmetic formulation. Trust me, trust me. I made a big mistake in a huge project a few weeks ago, and that's what changed my mind. And trust me, I've, I've had different skills in my lab until I messed up big time. Even though I do calibrate my scale, but there are some brand of precision scale that you don't want to bother. They are expensive, but they're not accurate. So not all precision scales are accurate. That's why I'm so addicted to why so much that I can't do any formulation without it. Now, so that's the difference between 
a precision skill and her and a pocket skill so if you want to move your formulation skill to the next level take it from me get yourself a precision skill um, if you buy this from amazon depending on the country where you are you may find it a good price from amazon so check amazon and check the link there I also link in the description box if you want pick whichever one is cheaper for you so make sure you save your money that way okay you can start from scout and trust me you can start from i will recommend <coughs> That you start if you are using scouts, I would recommend that you go for the five two. Okay. Um, I would recommend that you go for the five two zero one NE. This is the brand here, five two zero one NE SJX five SJX one five zero two NE. Sorry about that, one five zero two NE. Especially this is good to start with. Okay. So that's about it for this video. In my next video, I'm going to show you my four lap scale and why i got the four um a colleague of mine called me a crazy chemist sometimes ago and i was i was laughing and thinking to myself why did she call me a crazy chemist i'm going to reveal that to you in my next video so stay tuned for that in my next video i'll show you all my lab scales and why i use different uh, scales for different projects so stay tuned for that if you love this video give it a thumbs up click the subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified of my next video thanks for watching